Welcome to another episode of That Van Life Cooking Show. Uh, today we are going to show you how to make, as always, delicious dishes that use simple ingredients you can get pretty much anywhere in the world using only a few things, like two pans. You only have two hobs and you only have two pans. That makes it really easy for you to cook at home or in a van or when you're traveling. So it's kind of like an ideal cooking show for people who aren't in love with spending ages and ages cooking and washing up. However, today we're doing something that might take a little bit more time, so... We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> um, don't forget you can buy the cookbook for this show underneath the description. If you buy it now, you will get automatic free updates continuously as we add more. We add them in batches of five and there'll be 30 recipes in a season. Not only will you be supporting this channel, but you'll be helping keep this show on the road. Okay, today we are going to cook a curry. And the curry is going to have technically the most boring vegetable in the world, the cauliflower. But actually a vegetable which is really, really good for you. Pourquoi? Um, pourquoi? <laughs> Cauliflowers are actually really high in vitamins and they are high in every vitamin and mineral that you need, which is pretty amazing. Hmm. I, didn't, cool. I didn't know But that. the main thing, what we're going to do with the cauliflower, we know it's a boring vegetable, but we're going to put herbs and spices and it will really absorb them into it and then it'll make a really nice curry. So for the curry, we're using ingredients again that you can get pretty much everywhere. We have cauliflower, we have cashew nuts, we have some basalti rice, brown rice, and coconut milk. You can literally get this everywhere in the world. Um, and we're going to use coconut oil as well, which you can use for all sorts of things, not just cooking. And then we are using a few herbs and spices. These spices are generally the spices that I use if I'm cooking Indian food. So we have mustard seeds, garam masala, cardamom. Why is it in seeds? Why is it like this? Because that's what cardamom looks like right. before it's yeah. ground up. But you can use it. And we have cumin. I and mean, we're, yeah. and this, we're, so you put them in the real seeds, it's all like fancy, but I'm sure you can just buy it ground up. With this little fancy pot. And we're also using fresh ginger, turmeric, and garlic. Mm, ginger, love it. Yeah. Firstly, um, we're just gonna lightly toast the cashew nuts. Cashew nuts, they are actually one of the best nuts. They just taste so fatty. They're, so, they're really high in fat, so they're great if you've been climbing. Yeah. And the reason why we're toasting these first is just because it kind of adds a bit of a toasted nutty flavour. Um, Nate, you're maybe going to not like this meal quite as much because it is going to take a little bit longer to prepare. But it's definitely a meal that you would want to cook in the evening and when I make this, I normally make enough so I've got leftovers for the next day. So in that way it's efficient. Cool. If so like just old food, that's great. Yeah, well if you're, it's not going to be that old if it's a day later. And with curry, it, the flavours are always like kind of increase and it always tastes yeah. really good the next day. I guess I'm just more into food than you. I like my food only to be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine, if you like old food, if you like old food, you keep it for the next day. It's efficient. <laughs> You yeah, make one so. meal and you have it again the next day. But it's day. any more efficient than a time saving. So if I'm just eating a wrap, seven minutes. Delicious wrap, seven minutes tomorrow. Okay, Delicious well this wrap. is going to take longer than seven minutes. How many I'm minutes? I'm just warning you. It's probably in total going to take 25 minutes. You know, again, like when it's all prepped, it can just do its thing. Okay, so you don't actually have to taste the cashew nuts. We're just doing that because... <laughs> because you're going to chop the cauliflower while the cashew nuts are toasting. Okay. So again, we're not actually not cooking or wasting time because that's doing something. The water's boiling. The water's boiling. The cashew nuts are toasting. Nate's chopping the cauliflower. It's all good. And you want to take the green bits off. Oops, it rolled under the van. <laughs> You don't know the whole cauliflower, do you? Well, I I would if I was making food for lunch tomorrow. I'm just making it for tea, not 
for two weeks. You see, so cauliflower I'm... is like poor man's broccoli. No, is what it's I was gonna not. Say. It's not. It's really, really tasty. I absolutely love cauliflower. You just have to get into it. Yeah, but you don't eat it raw, do you? Taste Why would you eat it raw? Of like Go cabbage. and get the bit you chucked under the van. We're gonna cook it all. But the main thing about this is like once it's done, it's mostly like a, a stewing cooking process rather than actually like non-stop doing stuff. Yeah. So it's great for the person who doesn't mind waiting a little bit for the food. We're just standing around watching a pot. Okay. Okay, look. Right, and we've got a bit of colour on the... So we're going to put them into another dish. Bring the sugar. You could use whatever bowl you're going to eat out of so you're exactly. not wasting your foot. Right, what's next? Now you want to put some coconut oil in here. And because it's so hot, this coconut oil is completely turned into liquid. Yeah, it's really, really hot today. So we're just going to pour a bit of coconut oil in. Yeah. It'll probably be fairly generous because, um, oh man, it smells good. It's going to be soaked up in the 6,000 tons of cauliflower we have. You going to put it in? Yeah, stick it all in. Yeah, even That's a can. lot of cauliflower. Huh? It's a lot of cauliflower. I can't believe cauliflower is good for you. I know. It just looks like such a rubbish vegetable. And then to the cauliflower, we're going to add some cumin. Decent amount of cumin seeds and some salt. Generous pinch. And some pepper. Do you think you can really taste the pepper once you've added all the spices? I would just put it in. If you have it, put it in. Seasoning is always good. Okay, and now you can chop up some of the garlic and Can we some use granules? If you really want to. Yeah, I'm bored of garlic fingers. So you can cook up real garlic or you can just use my favourite garlic granules. My chef friend says it's amazing, so I'm on it. We can use... Why do you buy this? <laughs> If you can get fresh turmeric, then use fresh turmeric. If you can't... I've never seen fresh turmeric. Really? Yeah. Really? Where, where do you... I never even... It looks like ginger. Yeah. Well, so like yellow ginger. If you've never seen fresh ginger... This is ginger. This is turmeric. It's slightly browner on the outside. And it, and it comes in much, much smaller pieces as well. This piece is quite big. So we're not using ginger, like we promised you earlier. We're going to change the plan and we're going to use... Turmeric. So we're going to use about that much, like a centimetre of it. So you don't have to go overboard with the turmeric, apparently. And I'm gonna really, really finely cut it, yeah? Yeah. Dice it, yeah? Really yeah, tiny. perfect. It's really stainy. Yeah. So after not having garlic fingers, I'm gonna have turmeric fingers instead. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I like how much sludge you get out of this. Okay, so now we can see that the water is starting to boil. Um, and before we add the rice to the water, we kind of want to rinse the rice. Some things I often think that they just make up. So I doubt it makes any difference to the end of the meal. With white rice, 100% you have to. But not with brown rice. Well, I know you're taking on quite a lot with this meal already, so... Yeah, more. Yep. It's a lot of rice. You can see it's just the rice is just underneath the surface. This is for brown rice. So brown rice, you need a bit more water than you do for white rice. It tends to need more water to kind of expand. We'll see the uh, turmeric changing the colour of the cauliflower to make it look a bit better. <laughs> a little bit more towards the broccoli that we all know and love. <laughs> yeah, you want it to be kind of brown and crisp 
on the outside, so we're not there yet. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, for people who don't want to get anything done. <laughs> no, patience is important. Unless you don't, can't engage with the process. But in everyday activities, for your life, look, I'm stained. <laughs> I have yellow garlic fingers. Turmeric. No, garlic was on them first. Why <laughs> do oh, you find this so funny? You come, come back a little bit. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, she's in a picture. You're, like, you're just like a little head in the corner, giggling away. Like, <laughs> so I'm turning the heat on the rice down because you don't want it to be too hot. You really want to kind of simmer rice, not boil it. It's not pasta. Look at that. Mm. Starting to look less shit. Do you genuinely love cooking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like every day. Then you ever like, ah, oh, I'm hungry, but now I'm gonna have to do something for 20 minutes. Yeah, like. And then another 20 minutes to clean up the mess you make. Yeah, obviously there are times when I can't really be bothered, especially if you get back late and you've been like, you know, really super busy all day. But. If you're super organized, like I would make enough of this for tomorrow. So then I would think, okay, so if we go climbing later tomorrow, then I've got dinner to come back to, so I'm organized. But you, it's just like, it's habitual. You end up getting into mm. like, you went somewhere else. Yeah, I know, I was thinking about something else. <laughs> yeah. Like I saw your eyes just literally glaze oh, no, over. but you were just talking about something else. <laughs> you asked me a question and I was answering it. Well, no, I mean, you could just be like a yes or no answer. Okay, would be sorry. Fine. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> do you want me to give you something to do? Yes. Okay. Green beans are good, and I like to eat them raw in wraps at lunchtime. Not in a half an hour curry. Because you don't have to do any, spend any time cooking it in a wrap. One way, I'm probably gonna have to do a little show on like crag food innovation. Yeah. Because it's quite difficult to eat good food at the crag. It's often like quite difficult to do, and it's a bit of a pain. How many ingredients? But it's actually, if you get your little systems in, in place, it's kind of not so bad. That's quite a lot of tail. Next. Uh, that's it. <laughs> the coconut milk. Coconut milk is amazing. And again, you can get it basically everywhere. And we're just going to pour it into the cauliflower. Test. Will my fingers ever be not yellow? Yes. I'm adding the cashew nuts and we can just turn the heat up. So we're going to cut up the coriander or cilantro for the Americans. This is maybe the worst coriander I've ever seen, but it's England in summer. For some reason they don't have a good coriander. There's no excuse for it really, is there? It's amazing how in different plastic. places you can have different qualities of, of vegetables. The UK is pr fairly bad. Like it's all like a bit small and twee. And yeah. Whereas in Spain you get these huge lush vegetables. Probably covered in insecticide, but you know. I'm just checking uh, how cooked the rice is. Uh, so it needs a bit more heat and there's still water in the bottom. So I'm just going to turn it up and leave it to cook for a bit longer. So, so far it's taken 25 minutes. Yep, that's what I said, right? Mm -hmm. So you can probably add the green beans. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna add those beans we dropped. And you can kind of be a bit imaginative with your vegetables. You don't just have to use these. You could have sweet peas, you could have all sorts of beans, you know, different ingredients. Yep. So you put the beans in at the end because you don't want them to just go like really chewy. You still want them to be a bit crunchy. What about your little pot of weird seeds? Oh, the cardamom. We would put the cardamom in 
whatever cardamom is. Put, put them in now, put them in. Three seed, three cardamom pods. They're just kind of little pods. Is those done? Let me check in this, right? No, just one more minute. <sighs> the world's weakest coriander. Strict cilantro. <laughs> So there we have it, one delicious dish. So nice to smell to the coriander coming up. Really, really nice. So I'm just gonna do a quick taste test. That's good. I'll let her have it. That's a really nice dish. That buttery flavor of the coconut milk. And with those sort of toasted vegetables, it had all the herbs and spices in it. And then the kind of crunchiness of those uh, cashew nuts, really, it's quite a treat. I can recommend this. Just passes the test. It's going in the book. Thank you for watching. That's another really awesome little dish. Um, beautiful flavors and textures, and not too long to take 25 minutes. Bearable. Um, and really great food to make and share with your friends. Don't forget you can buy and download the recipes in that Van Life cookbook. And also, you've got a friend who doesn't like cooking that much. Struggle sweet, healthy, only eats out, has all the excuses. Send them this show because it's presented by someone who doesn't love cooking. They're not going to be like, oh, this fancy spice which you've never heard of. It's going to be like simple ingredients for simple people. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not going to be like someone who's like, la di da, loves all the fancy stuff and like obsesses about all these random little details which you do not care about. You just want to know how to make some easy food in a couple of dishes which doesn't waste your life washing up. This is a show for them. Share it with them, send it to them and that helps us uh, which means we can help you by making more shows. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Got any sum up? Are you going to try the food? I did. Oh. You, you weren't here. You were getting the bowl. You forgot. Did you like it? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got anything to say? What, what did you like to think of the cauliflower? No, it's alright. Actually, it's nice. Yeah. 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 Anything else to add? Yeah. I need um, some up. Any any foods you really want to cook with or recipe ideas that you have? Comment below, and we can try and make something with them. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See you later.